Mom asks me to eat spinach every day. She says it'll make me strong like Popeye. So I asked her what the spinach ate to stay strong. She smiled and said, "Plants to eat nutrients to stay strong." So for this term science project, the topic I chose was what do plants eat? The green colored chlorophyll in plants help use carbon dioxide, water and sunlight to make their food. But they also need other nutrients just like we do. They get it from the soil. The major nutrients that a plant needs from the soil are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. We drink milk to have strong teeth, carrots for good eyes. Similarly, plants also need special nutrients for good health. Farming is what led early man to settle down into villages and create civilizations. The major civilizations were found near rivers as they would flood the valleys and land around them with fine river silt. The silt is dark and rich, full of minerals. This fertile land provided plants the essential nutrients. But what about the farming land that was not close to the rivers? We understood that something could be added to the soil to make it more fertile. Man noticed that ash made land richer, so he burned down the jungle to make the soil richer. This is the first form of fertilizer used. But it wasn't until the 17th century in England that the word fertilizer was first used. The other early fertilizers used were animal dung, ash and shells. Another important practice was to give time to the land to become fertile by leaving it unused for a while. Earlier, farming was done only to provide enough food to sustain the people who worked on it. But during the medieval times, the population rose dramatically. It was not possible to produce enough food with the available land. There was severe famine worldwide. Soon people started doing research on fertilizers. Studies show that the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium affected each other. So people came up with what are called mixed fertilizers. These new fertilizers helped us produce enough food with just the available land. But these fertilizers were not available to most parts of the world. After independence, the Indian farmers struggled without proper facilities and equipment. In 1959, Chacha Nehru recognized the need for India to produce enough to feed herself. That is when the Green Revolution happened. In 1961, companies were given a joint industrial license to produce fertilizers in a giant manufacturing complex in India, and this created Coromandel International. Coromandel International, a company based in Hyderabad, is one of the largest producers of fertilizers in the country. Coromandel specializes in what are called phosphatic fertilizers, with mines and eight factories across different states. from kashmir to tamil nadu they also make a range of soil nutrients organic fertilizers and pesticides which nourish and protect plants they also have a submarine pipeline to bring ammonia from ships first of its kind in india and second in asia india is now the third largest producer and the second largest consumer of fertilizers in the world fertilizers are important to make sure plants eat healthy and grow strong just like you and me